After falling in both games against the Quad City Storm this past weekend, the Thunderbolts look to hit the refresh button and prepare for two chances to end the Peoria Rivermen's unbeaten 7-0 streak. I'm Tony Pecoraro, and this is your look at the week ahead. This past weekend, the Thunderbolts earned a point in this past Friday's 3-2 overtime loss to Quad City, but showed plenty of resilience while wearing their military appreciation night uniforms in front of hundreds of military veterans who know the very meaning of resilience. Down one to nothing in the second period, Braden Helms scored a magnificent end-to-end -end goal, his first as a pro, to tie the game at one aside. Then down two to one in the third period, Connor Sanvito would score on the power play to tie the game once again. Former Army net miner Parker Gahagan was very strong in net, making 36 saves on 39 shots. Unfortunately, despite outshooting Quad City the following Saturday, 40 to 23, the Storm got almost every lucky break in the game, winning four to nothing. The Rivermen entered the weekend with a 5-0 record, following a pair of 3-0 shutout victories against Macon at home. On Friday night, Macon would take an early 1-0 lead, but Peoria would quickly tie the game on a goal by Zach Miaminen. The first period would end with two major scrums in several fights, notably involving Peoria goaltender Eric Levine, as he went after Macon's Stepan Timofeyev. Peoria would roll through the second period with four unanswered goals from Jacob Reichert, Zach Nieminen, Alec Baer, and Jake Hamilton. Macon would strike twice in the third period, but it would be too little too late as Peoria won the game 5-3. On Saturday, the two teams would go scoreless in the first period, then exchange two goals aside in the second period, both of Peoria's by Jacob Reichert. Tied 2-2 two two in the third period, Peoria would score three unanswered goals to pull away from Darren McCormick, Nick Neville, and Jordan Ernst, and win the game 5-2. The Thunderbolts had six transactions this past week, starting on Wednesday, November 6th, activating defenseman Frank Schumacher off the injured reserve, then placing him on waivers. They acquired forward Zane Jones from the Huntsville Havoc in exchange for future considerations. The following day, on Thursday, November 7th, signed forward D'Amico Hanoon to a three-game tryout. On Friday, November 8th, the Thunderbolts placed forward Scott Donahue on 21-day injured reserve. And on Monday, November 11th, placing defenseman Dale Dion on team suspension. Friday night's game against Peoria will be Swander Ice Arena night, with fans having the opportunity to skate on the Fort Center ice after the game and can redeem a free public skate pass at Swander Ice Arena by presenting their ticket stub from Friday's game. Saturday's game will be Faith and Family Night, presented by Oakland City University, and one lucky high school junior or senior in attendance will win a $12,000 scholarship to Oakland City University. There will also be a free concert in the Fort Center lobby immediately following Saturday's game. Both games this weekend start at 7.15 p.m. Central Time. You can get tickets at the Ford Center Ticket Office or by going to EvansvilleThunderbolts.com or by calling 812-422-BOLTS. I'm Tommy Pecoraro, and this is your look at the week ahead. We'll see you this weekend.